A Sufi story tells of a village of blind men. One day, a new creature arrived. Each of the blind men grasped one part of it and declared that they knew what it was. A snake? A rug? Columns? But, by only experiencing one part of it, each was wrong. In our everyday lives, we also tend to look at things in parts, rather than experiencing the world as a whole. This is not surprising, as such divisions start early on in school, where we are divided into a range of subjects. Yet, the world is much more complex, and if we are to understand its complexity, we need to think about the greater picture. We have to think in systems. Let's illustrate this with a universal example. Love. Do you love me? Yes. But how much? In our love systems, the amount of love is always crucial. Some things help love to grow, such as laughter and good conversation. However, the amount of love can also diminish such as after a bad argument. Thankfully, we do have precious moments in life, like a honeymoon, where we ensure that love is strengthened. While in the everyday, we tend to settle for a sweet harmony. Indeed, our love systems are extremely sensitive. In some cases, tiny actions can have a huge effect. While others take some time to manifest. Yet love doesn't just exist between two people. It's much more than that. Love also exists between brothers and sisters, kids and parents, within family circles, and also among friends and wider communities. In reality, love connects us all. However, we often damage love by repeating the same mistakes and not recognizing unintended consequences. For example, grounding a naughty child to teach good behavior could make them even more rebellious. Sometimes, even small arguments can turn into large and messy fights. As adults, we often promise to call our parents more, but this can soon fade as time passes. We can also become fixed to distractions, not realizing that this may be creating deeper disconnects in a relationship. And all too often, we lose sight of what really makes us happy. Although we all tend to make such mistakes in love, there are wisdoms that can guide us towards systemic solutions. So, why don't we use such wisdoms to understand more complex systems and not only love?